All right, guys, got a little bit of a quest tonight. I sent a cold offer of $300 to a guy who's selling an NES law for 500 bucks. He accepted. The only caveat to this is I haven't really checked out the games, and honestly, I don't really know what a lot of NES stuff is worth. But the calculations makes it so that each game is worth less than $3. And my evaluations for the consoles was only $25 each. There was three NES consoles, and I know an NES is worth more than 25 bucks. I made an offer so that kind of no matter what happens, I'm at least going to break even. But hey, potentially there could be, I don't know, what's a rare NES game? Uh, world Championship. There could be a World Championship in here. Who knows, man? We'll see when we get there. Well, guys, here it all is. A uh, bunch of wires. Looks like they kind of painted over this joystick. All the games are here. Um, it's about like 82, 83 games, something like that. Three NESs, some manuals. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm assuming it's worth more than 300, but uh, I won't really know until I go home and check it all out. But before I do that, we're going to take in this box of junk and see how much GameStop will give me for it. Well, they did pull the rug out a little bit from under me. It ended up actually only being uh, $30 trade credit instead of like 40. Don't really know how he messed that up, but he did give me a good pointer. This is apparently like a limited edition Zelda classic controller. So it's actually worth a little bit on eBay. I never even bothered to check. So he did save me a little bit of money there. So I do appreciate that. Okay, well, I've actually got it back in my apartment. I guess it's time to actually see what I actually just bought. I think what I'll do now with all the games, since I don't really know what a lot of these are worth, I'm not that well versed on NES games, I'm gonna just make one pile of anything that's kind of less than like $15, and then I'll make another pile of games that are worth more than that. And uh, I'll put it right here. So I've got everything kind of sorted out. I've got my, I'm, I'm not gonna call it junk pile, but uh, junk pile. This is all stuff that's worth less than like $15. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I don't even know if a game store would want really any of this. A lot of it is just kind of junky tie-in games and sports games. But there was a surprising amount of really good games and some grails in here. And uh, my NES ignorance really showed itself here because there were some games here like, like the Jungle Book, for example. Like, if I would have just seen this in the wild, I would have thought maybe it's a $5 game. But it's like a $35 game on the NES. And there's a few other games in here like that that uh, I just, like, had seen in the past and thought nothing of. So definitely learned some things from this lot. Uh, but yeah, we're looking really good. This whole pile is all games that are worth over 15 bucks. There's three NESs. There are a ton of cables. I didn't really have a better place to put them for now, so I kind of just laid it all out through the floor. I don't know if the NES Advantage is worth any money. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of been, you know, uh, used a little bit. But that's pretty much it. So now, real mystery is whether all three, or really if any, of these work. Okay, first NES is connected to the RF adapter. I guess we're about to find out if it just powers on. And then I just grabbed Jungle Book. I didn't even clean it yet, but I mean, it looks, it looks fine. Let's go ahead and try this out. Moment of truth. Oh, uh, okay. For now, I'm gonna just count this as a parts console, which is fine because when I gave the guy an offer, I assumed all three NESs were just gonna be broken, so. Okay, NES number two. All right, here we go. Same exact problem. Not sure if it's just because it's dirty or what. I don't really know anything about NESs, so. Everything I'm doing here is without cleaning anything, without checking anything. I'm just trying to see if it just works right at the gate. It could also be the game, I don't really know. So, but I'm, for now I'm gonna say that NES 2, not working as well. And I don't have much hope for the third one, because the third one is like the nastiest looking one out of all of them. But, I mean, you never know. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not gonna work. Here we go. Well, that's a little different. Instead of the gray flashing screen, we got the orange flashing screen. Okay, well, I'm not entirely sure if it's the NESs that are the problem, the power that's the problem, the RF connection. Well, I mean, it's got, it's changing images, so I don't think it's gonna be the RF adapter that's the problem. Um, or if it's just the game that's dirty. Uh, but all three systems are kind of giving me the same thing. This one's a little different in that it's flashing orange and not flashing gray. Don't know what's up with that. Uh, Cause I don't really know much about NESs. So I'll have to look up and see what's kind of going on maybe and figure out if any of this is salvageable. Okay, I think I've pretty much figured it out. Seems like the 72 pin connectors, which is like what the cartridge goes into, they're just a little worn out. So all I did was I did a little bootleg fix and bent all the pins and it seems like it's running this game perfectly. Uh, I accidentally destroyed one of the pins on this one. So I'm just gonna have to buy like a new 72 pin connector. They're cheap on Amazon, but I'll deal with that another time. And then, uh, so 
fix this one for now and then uh, I'll move on to this one. But otherwise I should have three working NESs at some point. So yeah, we're looking good there. And with that being said, I guess let's just go into, uh, let's go into the games. All right guys, so this was everything in that collection that was worth at least $15. Uh, first up, there was just one random SNES game. There was Super Mario All-Stars. There was one complete in-box NES game, uh, Vegas Dream. It's not really worth anything, but still cool to have at least one complete in-box game. Uh, Rampage, Donkey Kong 3, Double Dare. Not sure why this one's worth more than 15. It's worth like 16 bucks or something. It's just kind of a generic, you know, uh, game show game. Treasure Master, Toki, Micro Machines, Zelda 2, The Jungle Book, Mario Bros. 2, Punch Out without Mike Tyson, Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Bros, the standalone version, and this, yeah, this is a five screw version, which I actually just learned by looking up some of these games, like that the five screw versions of games are typically more rare and more desirable. Double Dragon 3, Contra 1, which was worth a lot more than I thought it would be. I was thinking maybe it'd be like a $20 game, but this thing goes for like 35 to 40 bucks pretty easily. And another game that really surprised me, Mega Man 1. Apparently this game is worth like $70. That just seems, like, that doesn't even seem real to me. I need to look more into that. I just saw the uh, the loose price on price charting, but uh, to, to me in my head, it just, it just doesn't make sense that Mega Man 1 would be like $70, but I'll look into that later. And another sleeper, I just kind of saw this one randomly. Apparently this one's worth, I think like I saw like it was 60 or 70 bucks. Uh, RC Pro-Am 2, Krusty's Funhouse, uh, TMNT 3, Battletoads, Excite Bike, another Donkey Kong 3, Monster Party, and a Super Mario Bros. 3, and it's the Left Bros. So, a little rare. So that was everything that was worth a good amount of money. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head how much all this total is worth, but I'll put that number right here. And then of course, with all this stuff, I also have this whole box just full of, I mean, I ain't gonna call it junk, but it is kind of junk, but uh, actually I need to check what the value of the game genie is. That might be worth a little something. So, still have all this to deal with. Um, I'll take it to a game store sometime. We'll, we'll see if they even want any of it. Okay, just got the new 72 pin connectors in the mail. Uh, this is the old one. I already changed it. Let's go ahead and see if it worked. Oh, that is really tight. Okay. Uh, that was super tight. I mean, probably because it's brand new, but hopefully it works. First try. Cool. Okay, I guess I, uh, I'll get these other two done and they should be all good. Okay, so these aftermarket 72 pins I bought are just, I don't think they're gonna work. I mean, they're just so tight. Like, I cannot take the game out unless, you know, I'm using two hands with the cover off. So, solution is this bootleg strategy that I found online. It's just boiling the old connectors. I'm skeptical if it's actually gonna change anything, but I mean, people said it's worked, so we'll go ahead and try it. Okay, all the connectors are now done drying from uh, getting them boiled. Um, I just put it back on the system. Uh, let's try it out. Let's see if it just works first time. Okay, how about going down? Uh, not really getting anything from this one. Okay, uh, time to try the next one. Big fat nothing, dude. bro. Okay, finally got it all sorted out. I got two out of the three consoles listed on eBay. Uh, I'm gonna keep this third one just because I don't have a power brick for it and I don't have an NES, so I figured might as well keep it. I'm not really that big of a fan of the NES library. I'm sure there's some games I'd like. And then the two games I'm keeping out of the entire collection are Batman the Video Game. I heard this is a good, like, not Ninja Gaiden clone, but Ninja Gaiden-esque uh, sort of game. And then uh, a classic, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Um, so, console, two controllers, these games, and then uh, a broken zapper. So I just did all the calculations. There was about $700 worth of games that were worth over $15. And in terms of games that were worth less than $15, it was about 50 or so of them. All of them probably, I might be able to get 150 bucks somehow via trade credit, via offer up, something like that. And then the consoles all together, probably about worth about 200 bucks. Add that up together and we're looking at about $1,050 in value. I think I made a pretty good buy. Uh, 300 bucks into 1,050, I mean, I can't really complain. Anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.